Hello and a very warm welcome. You're watching Beyond World is One with me, Raisha Segal, and this is a news point on the show today. India today celebrates 78th Independence Day on the theme Vikasit Bharat at 2047. Prime Minister Modi addressed the crowd from the ramparts of India's iconic Red Fort. We will get you the full details of Prime Minister Modi's speech, which was his 11th consecutive speech. But first, a quick check on the headlines. Prime Minister Modi takes up women's security in Independence Day speech, says state governments need to take this seriously. Crimes against women must be probed as soon as possible. Those involved in such acts must face strict punishment at the earliest. One point four billion Indians worried about safety of Hindus and other minorities in Bangladesh, says Prime Minister Modi as he urges for peace and normalcy to return to Bangladesh. Prime Minister Modi underlines nation has been living under communal civil code for seventy plus years, says Secular civil code is the need of the time. More unrest in West Bengal's Kolkata. Unidentified miscreants enter the hospital area shortly after midnight and vandalize portions of medical facility where the body of the trainee doctor was found last week. Crucial Gaza ceasefire talks to be held in Qatari capital Doha today. Talks expected to take place without Hamas. US, Egyptian and Qatari mediators say they could put together a plan that resolves the remaining issues. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken dials top Qatari Egyptian officials ahead of Doha ceasefire talks. U.S., Egypt and Qatar have been the prime mediators in efforts to secure a ceasefire between Israel and the Hamas militants. Columbia University President Nimad Shafiq resigns after months of far-reaching fury at her handling of demonstrations over the Israel-Hamas war. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky hails Ukrainian advance in Russia's Kursk region, says Kiev achieving strategic goal as Moscow shows video of its fighter jets combat work over the region. New Delhi urges Indian citizens in Russia to move out of Brinsk, Belgorod and Kursk regions following surprise cross-border attack by Ukrainian troops. China's economic momentum fails to pick up as sluggish confidence weighs on consumption and investment. Fixed asset investment unexpectedly slows to 3.6% in the first seven months of the year. Vinesh Fogart will not be awarded a joint silver medal at the Olympics. The Indian wrestler's appeal against her disqualification is dismissed by the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Mm -hmm. 